Okay, so we're going to go to the random points feature. Click on random. So it brings up a menu, points. You can select the amount of points, whether it's a square or a sphere. Okay, you've got a, uh, a slider. You can tell it how many you want. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Negative points. Let's just stick with what makes sense in the real world. Okay, we got 71 points. Click OK. Hit the A key to fit. So it sort of looks like a box right now. So that was the cube. Okay, let's uh, undo that. Let's go random points again. Let's go sphere. So square. Now it was 71. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's make it a little higher, just so we can see it better. Sphere, okay, so it looks more circular this time. Now notice we don't see anything in our perspective window because we're in texture wireframe mode. So this is physically actually not, um, <clears throat> these have not been converted to polys. So this would not be visible in layout, okay? So if you're making a star field or whatever, you wouldn't see this. If we go up to wireframe, okay, we can see the um, the points, and it looks like the the Paul or the points are actually all through this uh, sphere, which is cool because you can actually fly through this, and there'll be stars all over the place instead of it just being connected to a sphere or something like that. It's actually, or like I said, or it could be for like an explosion. It could be going real small and. <laughs> And explode. Dun, dun, dun. So, okay. So, in order to convert this um, to poly, so it's visible in uh, in layout, all we have to do is just slide over here to polygons and select points to polys. Boom. Okay. Now, if we go down to texture wireframe, there you go. Texture mode. It exists. Okay, hit the W key, point statistics, 166 points. Okay, and hit polys. Okay, so we got 166 polys. Okay, fabulous. Okay, so that is the, sorry, that was the uh, random points tool. Pretty handy, so like I said, use it for stuff like star fields, explosions, dirt. It could be a multitude of other things, but anyways, um, pretty pretty handy and decent tool. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next section.